Are you laying on daddy's clothes? Or are you? She was napping on daddy's clothes. What are you doing? Huh? Good morning, guys. So, um, the dogs are, it's really funny. Um, I've never really caught on camera them doing it, I don't think. But they like to, like, Chloe, if Garrett leaves clothes on the bed or on the floor, like, she'll cuddle all the way up into him, like, when he's not here and just, like, lays there and is just the happiest little dog ever. But with Rocky, he does that with me. If I'm not here, Garrett says that he um, finds, like, a pile of my clothes in the back room that I haven't hung up or um, stuff that I've worn. And he'll, like, cuddle up in it and just, like, nuzzle his face in there and just sleep. And Chloe does the same thing. It's so funny. So our puppies love us. Um, but I'm about to make some tea. I'm trying to decide if I want to do my normal wild sweet orange tea. Or I bought this new uh, Numi orange tea. It's the orange spice. Organic tea. It's the orange spice one. I'm going to try. It's October. October's almost over. I'll go ahead and do this. Give it a try. Why not try something new? Oh my gosh, those bananas. I want to try to cut them and see if they're really that bad and freeze them. That's what I need to do today. Also, I'm cooking today. I'm going to make the beef broth and the carrot. Just like you. But, and then I'm going to cook one of the chickens uh, today. Isn't that right, Bug? Isn't that right, Bug? Okay, I understand the theory behind this, but I like the sweet orange room because it's orange inside there, and you smell oranges. This one just smells like spice. You don't really smell the orange at all. Have you guys ever, it tastes, it smells almost like a, kind of like a sugar snap or like a, it just smells like spice cider, actually. Orange spice cider instead of apple, it's like orange. Very weird. I just don't like how dark it is. I liked I really liked how orange the other one is. So, we'll see about taste tips, but I do need to go and buy some more of these whenever I'm out and about. Also, we need another elf air filter. But I'm going to add honey to this, like always. Good old Louisiana gold, honey. Oh. So, I'm cooking. I'm browning the chicken thighs. Um, I have it over here. Uh, I just It was like two pounds of them, but... I just spread them out, salt and peppered them, then put olive oil on it, rubbed it in, then drizzled honey over it. Then I put it over here, and I just did that on one side, so whenever I flipped it, I put um, the smooth side down or where the skin normally would be. Um, flat, where I put the honey and all that stuff, then I salt and peppered this side. Squeeze a little bit of orange on it. Once that browns, I'm going to put it on this baking sheet. Um, drizzle with a little bit more honey and maybe splash a little bit more um, honey or orange on it as well so I'm using Louisiana honey this coconut oil is horrible because you sniff it and it barely smells like anything but over here if you smell the extra virgin one smells like fresh coconut it's ridiculous anywho that's what we're doing and Chloe's looking the floor all right you look in the floor and that is the color we are looking for yeah all the honey caramelized and beautiful and Perfect. So excited. Round two. Oh yeah. Looks so good. That was the first batch. Still looks really good, but the second batch really caramelized in there. And we should just have one more batch to go. Yeah. It looks really good. You're going to be proud. I'm actually going to snap a picture and send it to him. Because he'll be very proud and excited. Round three. Looking really good. I went ahead and drizzled honey on those and uh, squirted some more orange on there. And there's about to go in a 400 degree oven. So we're doing good. It smells really good in here. Okay, so this bunch of um, asparagus is really, really thick. Um, I thought I was going to be able to fit both of these in here. Usually we can. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and roast one at a time since this oven is occupied. I'm going to use this in the little convection oven that we have and then I'm going to do it again to this little section but um, since we're making broth I'm going to save these little ends and we're going to use that for the broth to give more flavor and so we don't waste it all. Also we have zucchini that's about to go bad so I'm going to saute those and we have um, sweet potatoes that are about to go bad so I'm going to go ahead and make those into fries and 
lots of cooking going on today. Um, vlogs are um, supposedly, 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 supposedly are, the vlogs are supposed to be uploading right now, so I can't really do anything more with YouTube, but chicken smells so good, I can't even tell you. I can't tell you. I'm hoping I'm going to get a lot of this done so I can bring it to Garrett for him to have up there for lunch. If he doesn't have time to eat it, he can bring it back home and eat it for dinner. So that's what I'm doing. Ooh, before and after. I roasted them really good. I'm really bad, me and Garrett both, about leaving there too long and the ends <coughs> um, blackening. So I pulled it out at the right time. Not really sure how long it was, it was in there, but I'll monitor this one. But it looks so good. Okay, the next dish is going to be sweet potato fries. And these are actually um, two whole sweet potatoes. And it just fit in here. I usually like to give them a little more space, but don't have a bigger pan and what I did since I cooked I cooked with foil under it under it one because I didn't want to clean up two because I wanted it to be um, where I could take the foil off and do the sweet potatoes after because this is the pan I did the chicken in really easy cleanup um, I just poured the fat in here because you don't want to pour I mean that's yummy goodness that's like honey orange and chicken fat that's really good stuff so I might pour that on something I don't know, but chicken is in there, not to keep warm, but to retain its moisture. I don't want it to evaporate into the world. So, yes, I'm going to put olive oil on these, maybe dot some coconut oil around it, and then salt, pepper, and some cinnamon. Mmm, it's going to be tasty. Zucchini browning in the pan. It's exciting. And then these are done. So, I need... Let's hold it to your towel. Oh yeah, those are perfect. Those are beautiful. So that's exciting. So I'm add those with those. And that's what we're working with. You know, I really should do start filming like things that I cook and stuff like that. Um, and open up another channel. Just like what like different recipes. It's all these are my own recipes. I just like do it whenever. Like, I don't really have a recipe. I just know, like, oh, my orange and honey chicken. I know what I do and, like, the steps to do with that. Changes up sometimes. But I should really show you guys because they taste so good and they're so healthy and good for you. But, yes. Mm, so excited. All right. So, sweet potato fries are done. I just put them in 400-degree oven for, I want to say it was 30 minutes, maybe a little longer, 45 minutes. And then I put it on high broiler. And just watched it because if you don't watch it all of them will turn black like that and our oven is very uneven but and here I have the asparagus and the zucchini back here is the chicken here's some couscous and here are the little pieces um, zucchini ends and asparagus ends that we can use in the broth also this um, stuff on the top of the carrots could be used in the broth as well for flavor but that's about it and smelling all this food, I'm not really hungry. So, I don't know. I might just eat that pizza up there. I don't want to. I'm weird like that. That's why I like Garrett to cook because if I cook it and I've been smelling it all day, then I'm not going to want it. What are you doing? What are you doing, little pudding? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> um, so, let's see. My video for Thursday is still not popping up so I'm trying to like convert it cute face in there right um it's just kind of aggravating that it's not coming up anywhere can't figure it out so I'm gonna keep playing with this and try to find I finally figured out how to make it fill up the screen though I had to film it in a larger I had it was in the filming process I had to film it larger anyways wish me luck Hello, so um, we just got some more groceries. Uh, Garrett's making his beef broth. Hey, baby. And I bought some cupcakes. I just can't help myself sometimes. I have a problem. And they were sitting there, and they had the section where they were like chocolate and vanilla. Just couldn't help myself. Well, they're LSU and everything, which I didn't care about. Um, it's just gonna make my mouth turn purple or gold. I'm excited about them. I can see. Oh, you like my outfit? Got my little just fab boots on, Anderson. 
dress is Jessica Simpson. Y'all seen me wear it before. And my jacket is JCPenney m and by Mango. But uh, that's what I'm doing. Walking Garrett Park, way the hell across the world. Because um, he he dropped me off and has come to pick me up. But baby, what are we about to do? Got to study? Have you been studying? What you been studying? Everything. Hey guys, so um, we just got back home, but Garrett came pick me up, and we went to Walmart, and we just passed this little restaurant. Um, it's it's a like that. It's, it was called like Noodle Shop, Noodle Bowl. I don't know. And we love the Noodle Bowl at Whole Foods, and we went. I think it was like a fast food place, which it, you can get dine in or take out. We went ahead and dined in. Garrett got this lo mein. It was like the house lo mein. So freaking good. And then uh, I got. The, one of the noodle bowls is like the marinated pork noodle bowl, ramen bowl. It really didn't have any flavor at all. Um, it's actually kind of, it kind of tastes like Vaseline a little bit. But Garrett's thing was awesome. They added some like spicy to it. It was really, really good. But we're about to write, um, roast our beef broth, um, our beef bones. Oh my gosh. So, this is two and a half pounds of beef marrow bone, center cut. Then over here we have celery, tomato, onion, leek, carrot, garlic in here for it to sit on top of and roast on top of. This is going to be so, so good. I'm excited about it. She's not very happy. Um, but this is what the, actually, here it is. I got leftovers of it. It looks kind of gross, but put that in the air. Um, anyway, so that's exciting. We're going to be up for, it's 10.30. We're going to be up for another hour roasting these things. Then we're going to put it in the crock pot and let it cook for a while. But, um, I've been trying to upload October Favorites since yesterday morning. Really, um, uh, yeah, yesterday morning. And it's still, it's finally at 11%. It's just, like, creeping, so hopefully it'll be up by the morning. We will see. It's just taking so long since I have been in such a large folder, but, you know, what are you going to do? So, I just want to tell you guys hello, and I ate some of that cupcake. So good. Like, so, so good. The chocolate one was my favorite. Oh, my God, the internet's not working. What? <laughs> 